The Duprays are making progress, and the Matic Fanatic has some rough starts. So the Duprays are getting things buttoned up at their little garage on their property. They managed to get the other garage door up, so they got the two garage doors up and the man door in. But he still doesn't have his meter, so he still has no power. Once again, no power. Do they care? I don't think they care because it's a freaking meter. It's been four days. It's really, it's pissing me off a little bit. Every time I call the power company, they don't pick the phone up. Because the power company doesn't want to take, wants to take the sweet time four or five days after it gets, it's, it's, it's hot. Ridiculous. Yeah, he's not real happy about that. But even with a few minor setbacks, he doesn't let that get him down. There's always time for some dancing. Inspector Gadget and Michael Jackson all at once. A little family team of Less Junk More Journey. They're in Tennessee at the Tennessee Tiny Home Rally. Got tons of storage under the stairs. New closet space. That's already about what we got in the airstream. Right? Yeah. <laughs> This, of course, can jack up into a bed of some sort. It's a big TV. Yeah. Josh and Kaylee from the Freedom Theory. They're in New Orleans. Yeah, they're down in Louisiana. And they are taking a tour of a plantation. And what's interesting to me about these guys is it's kind of interesting how over the time that their videos have progressed and gotten a lot better. I'm not saying they were bad before, but now they put a lot more time into capturing certain little video shots and their editing is really good. So uh, kudos and a thumbs up to that. I mean, I know how much work it is. Hell, these little crappy videos I do takes some time. Now, it's been quite some time since we heard from James and Catalina of uh, Wonderlust Estates and According to Crook and Nanny, James is planning on ditching the RV and going to India. Nomad News also points out the absence of Catalina in the last video or two. He also points out that James uses the phrase I a lot now. So, I guess we'll have to keep an eye on them guys and see what happens. And last but not least, we have Nomadic Fanatic. I guess he's still in Oregon. He climbs a tower, throws a little airplane, and takes us around and shows us where Goonies was filmed. I guess we are uh, going up here. Don't get dizzy. I'll be on the brain of heights. I don't know where it's going to go. I'm kind of aiming for my RV down there, I think. Ready? Okay, made a hard turn there. Uh, Astoria, Oregon, also kind of well known from the movie Goonies. A classic, really. And I'm going to stop by the visitor center here and uh, see if I can get some information on um, filming locations around town. It's in use. It's, it's pretty cool. County jail. Pretty cool. And then we have it. Could it be? Is it? Is it that moment we've all known was going to happen? Is it here? Is it the time we've been waiting for? After a couple installed parts and attempts at repair, we're having some startup issues. Is this the lead up to what he usually does or is this a new technique? A little bit of housekeeping because I feel like this is going to come up later. Um, I did some mechanical work on the RV before I left there in Lacey just because I was having some issues getting the RV started. I well, took the doghouse off, replaced the ignition control module, the ignition coil, and on the front did crank position sensor and an O2 sensor, and that did not change my problem. Oh, what I have been told by some of my mechanic buddies is that I may have 
either a failing fuel pressure regulator or a leaking injector. Um, but this is not a, you know, I'm not ready to like not be without my RV for a few days and have the engine tore apart. So just so you guys know, this is in the future. If I ever find a buddy who's got a garage or a place and would help me do this job, it's going to be right around probably $1,100 in parts. Those injectors are more than a hundred bucks a piece. But you know, with all that, with all that said, I am in a fantastic mood and I have had much worse problems. Um, and then it dies. And the third time, good to go. Everything's perfect. So it's not like I don't have faith in my RV. If you notice, he doesn't come right out and say anything. He doesn't do his sad face, hang the head, and the woes. He tells the lead-in story, all the things he did up to this point. He shows us the problem, and then he slides in how much it's going to cost. And as he's doing that, if you noticed, he always looks at the camera, he talks to the camera, and he's got that good one-on-one -on -one with the camera. But as soon as he starts talking about that, notice the eyes close, the eyes divert, the head tips down just a little bit. And then when he's all done with his spiel, then he pops back up and the eyes are focused and he's back to the one-on-one -on -one repartee with all his fans. He lets us know that he's not really worried about it and he's still feeling good, he's still happy, and there's definitely been worse things. So again I say, is this an ease into it or is this a whole new technique? Will he surprise everybody? and just take his Patreon money and his AdSense and just go ahead and get it fixed and tell us about it later. I don't know. Guess only time will tell. So there you have a quick little RV or wrap up for today. I watched the videos. If you watched the videos, I don't know what you saw, but hey, that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.